month is October. It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Today we are going to share something very personal. If you must know, the three of us lost our mothers to cancer. We got our colleague to write the questions for us. To which really? none of us know what is the content, yes. what is it related to. How old were you when you <laughs> lost your mom? So for me, um, I lost my mother when I was 11 years old. So it means I was very five. I lost my mom two years ago. So how old was I? <laughs> I just know the year lah, 2015. Mm-hmm. I lost my mom in uh, 2005 when I was in secondary two. Number two, share with us how you found out the news of your mom's passing. A ah! few days after she was discharged, she was at, she was at home, and then I only recall going back home from school, and I saw that my siblings, eh, sorry, my sister and my dad. Uh, was um, she was in the living room resting, you know. Around after Margaret, um, we realized that uh, my mother tengah nazak. So that was when her her friend uh, called uh, a doctor to come over, and that was when um, <laughs> I wanted to cry. Sorry, tissue. <laughs> because I was very young, I couldn't um, hold, uh, I couldn't tahan my mother, you know. So I felt I fall asleep. So my mm-hmm. siblings brought me to the room. So I fell asleep. And then when I woke up, <laughs> I saw my siblings. <laughs> this is different from all of our other videos. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Where we laugh, you know. Okay. When I woke up, I was asking my siblings, "Why are you all crying?" You know, because everyone was crying. So I said, "Um, yeah, yeah, my mom died today." So that was the moment I was like, "No, my mom is not around," you know. So I ran to the room and I saw her jenazah. <laughs> Uh, I'll just keep it simple. Okay, my mom was diagnosed with stage four, not breast cancer, but colon cancer. I was in the hospital with my grandmother. I call her Opa, and my dad. Uh, my brother was serving a uh, national service, so he wasn't around. And my mom for for one whole week, dia tak boleh bangun daripada uh, tak boleh buka mata, tak boleh buka mata, tak boleh bergerak. That night. Uh, I remembered my father and my grandmother tengah makan rendang Tu tu kat sebelah kantin And then after that, I look at her uh, I look at my mother Dia punya, ni apa ni? Uh, breathing eh? Mm, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it the slow down lah I noticed that my Dia buka mata mm. So I was like, eh hey, papa, uh, mama buka mata Buka mata sikit je then she was looking at us, she was looking at my dad and my grandmother And then they slow down, like lain je And then that's when I knew lah that um, she's about to go By the time they checked, they were like Tee, all the way So that's how I found out, I was just right beside her uh, My mom was similar to apa ni, Faz uh, She had breast cancer and stage 4 uh, But she refused to go to the doctor so how did she eventually go um, get hospitalized is when uh, I just came back from CCA on that day. So I was so tired. It was during bulan Ramadan and I still remember it was the seventh day of Ramadan. So I was sleeping because I was so tired. Then when I woke up, um, I saw my aunt wheeling out my mom on a wheelchair. And she said she couldn't breathe. So my jiran and my only I think my aunt, like her sister came to like bring her to the hospital because like, she said she cannot breathe. So, uh, I just woke up, right? So, I, I was confused. So, I just um, kissed her on the cheek. So, I thought everything's going to be okay. Ah, because she's going to the hospital already, right? That night, my um, dad's sister fetched me and my siblings to the hospital. Ah. So, by then, she was already unconscious. And she's ready with the tubes and all. Ah, macam the, you can really see that it was really severe. So, the doctors already tell us that uh, they couldn't do much to help because the cancer cells had spread through the body. So... Uh, I think I can't remember whether it's on the day itself or on the next day that she she was unconscious all the way until like after Margaret like that kind uh, she blew, she uh, took her last breath lah. They told me and my sisters that uh, my mom has left us. So um, she was unconscious from the start to the end. Um, the only last moment that <laughs> I get to see her conscious is uh, it is with before she go to the hospital lah. So. <laughs> oh my god, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What do you miss the most? Alamak, Alamak. Dulu lah. <laughs> Honestly, her cooking ah. Dulu lah, dulu tak nak belajar masak kan. Eh. <laughs> Sekarang, <laughs> Sekarang baru nak. Sekarang baru nak.
Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, my favorite was um, uh, sambal sardin. Her sambal sardin. And it was her last dish that um, she made. My mom was a very sweet mother, you know. I think the most that I miss is I never meet and my brother Gado. Tala kena, tala kena marah, you know. I mean, walau pun kena marah, you miss that. That voice that, you know, scold you macam, you poor ya ya, you know, jangan gaduh, you know. Yeah, for me is, uh, you know, when you were younger, you do everything at school, you just want to share with your mom. Like, even though she's tired ke apa, like she's at, at home, then you buy school, like you just story je, you know. Then you and your sisters make rebut to like, the stories to her. Yeah, that's what I like. That's what I miss. <laughs> Walaupun kita sedih But I think this is a, like a really nice time to know about each other Because before we this kita tak pernah about it. Yeah, we've never yeah. talked to each other about our mothers What is one advice from your mom that you keep sharing to your friends or family? She's the, always the encouraging kind Macam if you want to pursue something, do it Like since young, I'm already macam suka buat origami And all that So she will just say if you like it then just Like just follow the path that you like, you know That she was trying to tell me to be a woman to prepare myself to be a woman, to thrive to be a woman, and she was asking me, she was telling me that, uh, okay, I remember her exact words, Mama, uh, tak ada pilihan, tapi Amalia ada pilihan, kalau Mama ada pilihan nak sembuh, Mama nak sembuh, tapi Mama tak ada pilihan, tapi Amalia ada pilihan, it's to actually make good choices in your life. Complete this. Dear mom, I just want you to know one thing. Ha! Oh. As soon as we read, korang. as soon as we read this, straight away, semua uh-huh. yang kita nak bilang dah kat kepala dah macam uh-huh. dah kan? Okay, let's just choose oh. something lah. Dear mama, <laughs> Dear mama, I just want you to know one thing. Mm. One thing, Ju. I just want you to know that um, I am better now. Everyone in the family are doing well. We are coping, still coping. Mm-hmm. To be honest, baju mama semua belum lagi, you know, kemas. Masa ada dalam kabin. I don't know when I can deal with that. So, dear mama, I just want you to know one thing. <laughs> Baru cakap benda ni. I just want you to know one thing. Everybody still misses you. Although it's been 10 years, every year, wherever, whenever, macam, we recall back the day that you passed on, you know. I see my brother posting, you know, uh, he misses you, you know. Macam, all our siblings were just macam, yeah, today is mama's 9th year, so, you know, dah meninggal, you know, this, this is your 10th year, so yeah. Macam, we will always remind each other lah. Uh, dear ibu, if only like, we can, uh, update you our life stories I think you never read lah uh, I think me and my sisters are doing well in life right now uh, slowly but surely we all of us are coping and uh, we miss you uh, we will never forget uh, how you are when you are present in our lives since it's breast cancer awareness month what do you wish you could do to give back to the community awareness ah. that is why we decided to you know uh create this video for all of you and to raise the awareness for those people who don't know anything about uh, breast cancer awareness. You just need to uh, take care of your health as in makan buah-buahan, saya suruh dan sawa apa? Sawa sop. Sawa sop. Kan sawa durian blender kan? Haa, uh, sawa sop. Durian blender. Sawa sop. Uh, soy bean. They say soy bean is good, is it? Soya, soya bean. Foods rich in fiber such as whole grain, beans and then of course fruits and vegetables. And to reduce Risk of breast cancer. Yeah, don't smoke. Um, you have to control your weight. Be physically, be physically active, okay. and also you need to breastfeed. So for moms, breastfeed uh, apa guilty? Mom to be, you have moms to be. You have moms to be. You have to breastfeed lah. Yeah, breastfeed. I heard that kalau you tak breast breastfeed, the higher chance is it? Yeah. Cause you have like, I mean, some people say, some people say, some people have complications, kan? So, oh, okay. yeah. Uh, kalau boleh. 
breast feed mm-hmm. because there there are survivors of um breast cancers that mm-hmm. I know. Uh, they detected earlier, so they managed to remove Good the tumor. tumor. Yeah. yeah, it's it's a very good example it's lah. Don't be mm. afraid lah, you know. Mm. Like kalau you rasa rasa sakit, don't macam don't tell yourself that it's normal, you know. Mm. Tapi lah sakit ni nanti boleh baik. Don't tell yourself that. Where to get mammogram? SCS Multi Service Center strictly by appointment. You can wear a pink ribbon to support the breast cancer awareness. There's actually breast cancer. Uh, foundation charity booth and even join as a member of Breast Cancer Foundation for free or become a volunteer. Okay, that's all from us. Yeah. Don't forget to like, share our videos yeah. and go to our Instagram. Or maybe you can share with us your experience or any of your experience if you have. If you've been yeah. through anything similar to either of us, mm. you can always put down in the comments. We'd be happy to know that um, we are not alone in this. There's yes. always somebody who's we also together. Yeah, yeah, going through the same path as us. Thank you for listening to our story. Yes, <laughs> and our <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.